Welcome to the breakdown where we break down all the messed up shit. Happy Halloween to the loyal fans of the Spooky Rice channel, and I hope you mature-minded kids either dress them nicely or you grown-ass people are having a scary afternoon. For a special Halloween event, we are checking out the first film in the guinea pig franchise. Easily one of the most disturbing movie series in the entire galaxy. Now, most of the time when you think guinea pig, you probably are pointed to the sequel of this movie, which is entirely more disturbing. But we just don't skip around, we start from the bottom down here. So I will issue a warning that there might be some disturbing sounds and scenes, and I will issue a warning here and there. But with that said, if you want to see what happens, including all the Mr. Parts, stay tuned for the breakdown. The movie starts off with this eerie ass drive down a scary Japanese road. The different camera angles and the dark ambient sounds add to the creepiness. We then zoom in on a net that holds the body of a woman and some eerie close ups of that body show this might be a dead body. And then title screen. We see that same girl who I'll call Yeg, bound by the feet and surrounded by darkness. The captive supposedly kidnapped her off screen and they start slapping and punching the woman, but it seems a bit obvious that some hits are faked. Then after the first guy is done, the next psycho wants to take a turn. Okay, it's literally just punching for a while, but then someone ties a bag of coins up to make her hurt more and she spits out the nastiest blood loogie I ever seen. Then we get a transition saying kick. The three all bully and kick the woman and even throw her down and say stuff like she is worthless and the such. This pretty much went on for about three minutes until they knock her out. Another transition says claw and also guys warning because we got some unnatural twisting of body parts coming up. We see the girl back in the chair and unable to move. A guy gets a tool ready, which is then used to grab her knuckle. He twists her bone around and pulls on it as she gives some low effort screams. He goes for her arm and does the same thing, but she is moaning like she's getting some head or something. I would have been crying my eyes out. Well then, another transition says the word unconscious. We see what we saw in the beginning, but looks like they used the net as her official sleeping quarters until they want to torture her again. Then the boys get her out of the net and start spinning her around. But this just reminds me of the good old days on the playground. I'm guessing this number corresponds to the number of times they spun her around. And with her already dizzy, they grab some alcohol and force it down her throat. Not as disturbing as the similar scene in the bunny game, but still pretty fucked up. Spinning and being drunk is a terrible concoction because finally after being spin 200 times, she actually starts to vomit. Another transition says sound and we see someone turn on some Playboy Cardi. Okay, let me stop. They actually turn on this sound. They tie the headphones to her face, which definitely is hard to endure. She then starts screaming as the time is revealed, meaning she has been forced to hear this for five hours. This is when the movie gets particularly disturbing because she's screaming very raw and terrified. I'm talking screaming so bad you wouldn't even tell it's a human anymore. A quality of real suffering that I've only heard before in the movie The Bunny Game. Then another five hours pass and then 20 damn hours pass and her brains have turned to mush from being subjected to this sound torture. Now I'm sure she could operate the wall rider if she wanted. Then we cut again to another transition saying skin. The girl is tied up and very unresponsive. They hold her down with the intention of pulling her fingernails off. Here's your warning guys, it's not too bad but it's still pulling a damn fingernail off. Well, they pull that bitch off, but before we hear any screams, it awkwardly transitions to her inside of the net. Another transition says burn, and we see a boiling pot of oil. They pick it up and we see it's about 70 degrees Celsius or 158 degrees Fahrenheit for my fellow American viewers. They circle around her and then slowly pour some of it on her arm. They then get some more oil that is 150 degrees Celsius or 300 degrees Fahrenheit. 
and pour it on her same arm as the girl growls in pain. Ew, what a nasty looking burnt prop arm. We then cut again to another transition saying worm. We see some nasty looking baby worms in a filter cup, which is then poured all over the burnt arm. I'm guessing they would infect her wounds and burrow into her skin to lay eggs, which is painful in its own right. They pour them all over her face and body, but she is moaning like it's feeling good or something. Well, that was pretty much the end of that scene, because we then cut to another transition saying guts. We see Sleeping Beauty over here suddenly getting bombarded with all types of guts, but only Prince Philip would wake her up. It's literally her being wailed at for about 5 freaking minutes before she finally awakes screaming like that's the worst thing that's happened to her so far. Well, then we see the girl is gone as the nasty guts slip down the nasty table. We see a guy with a sledgehammer run up on her sleeping in the neck, but it immediately cuts to her getting her hand cut open before the hand itself is crushed with the hammer. The next and final transition says needle, and we see the girl is bound again in a chair, looking as awful as she can be. The guys in the back turn on a machine which is used to sharpen this needle. They hold the girl's head back and bound her throat with some chains. They then hold her eye. Oh, wait, sorry, guys. Yeah, warning. Warning, they're, is, they're about to pin a needle through her eye. Okay, play. So, yeah, they hold open her eye and stick the needle in the side, which makes her prop eye bleed. Another angle shows the needle completely going through her eye. And that's basically the end of her torture. The movie ends as we cut back to the first scene of the movie and the girl has died inside of the net. Well, yeah, I'll just say if I just found this movie in someone's basement, I definitely think it was disturbing, but it wasn't enough for your boy Spooky. Now that we've seen a girl be a guinea pig, let's talk about the most disturbed moment and most enjoyed moment in that spooky stuff. So I believe that apart from the graphic violence, a lot of the disturbing nature in films like this one comes from its sort of like homemade camera feel. I'll honestly say it's films like this that actually scare me a bit because I don't know what to expect when I watch them. This movie is so unknown that there is barely any plot telling what torture this girl went through. And get this, there are even worse movies like this out there. Some movies I simply probably won't do because they show way too much nudity. But two films I feel I have to do are Psycho Suicide Dogs and Tumbling Dolls of Flesh, which is the movie that I am most scared to watch. Like I'm more scared to watch that than a Serbian film or Salo. Well, let's get to it. The most disturbed moment is easily for me the sound torture. Just imagine losing your mind from having to listen to that horrific demonic sound for over 20 hours. Also, just five minutes in, I found it very disturbing to hear the actress scream. The most enjoyed moment is non-existent. For the first time on a the channel, there is nothing to enjoy in this movie. It's just 40 minutes of a girl being tortured. But I would enjoy if y'all hit that like button so I know y'all actually like these videos. I'm just saying. But that's it. I hope you guys have a good Halloween, and if you're new and out of your irrational hating phase, how about clicking on that subscribe button so you don't miss any more disturbing breakdowns. Here are some similar films to this one on the screen for you to click, and hope you don't get any nightmares tonight. Spooky out!